It was this date and just about the exact same time when Susan Swaddell was last seen near Lake Elmo. That was 34 years ago and still very few clues in her disappearance. There remains a $25,000 reward in the case. But to drum up any new clues on this anniversary, the Washington County Sheriff's Department is trying a new social media approach. Fox 9's Rob Olson has the story of the huge hopes to solve a mystery. It's not getting any easier. It's so different from a death in the family. Time may heal most wounds, but in the case of Susan Swiddell, the wound for her family just gets worse. Every year, it just compounds. Now the 34th anniversary of Susan's disappearance near Lake Elmo, when she stopped at a gas station with car trouble in a blizzard one mile from home. Last seen getting in a car with a stranger. She was 19. Her sister, Christine, like was 16. So, you know, it's continuous. It's there every single day. So it's not just on one day. Um, like January 19th today, it is every single day. But anniversaries are always important dates to get attention again. Continue to press for any clues. A few years ago, it was with billboards. This year, the Washington County Sheriff's Department is trying a new approach. On Facebook throughout the day, serialized posts chronicling Susan's day of January 19th, 1988. Five posts planned before the day ends. We came about this idea to try something different, to try to generate uh, talk all day long, not just once. The sheriff says they figured instead of one post, why not try episodes? Anything, he says, to keep standing out. Now 34 years in. If you're on during the day in the morning on social media, you'll see it. If you're on a, at lunchtime, you'll see it at dinner time or at night. Christine says family members have now been dying, never knowing what happened to Susan, and it's clearly on their mind as they go. They had her picture next mm -hmm. to them as when they passed. Literally on the bed stand or right next to them. Just one more reason to hope for a long-awaited break. My mom is going on 80. It's just too many people are leaving, so many family members are gone and they never knew. Rob Olson, Fox 9.